Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University. Um, at this time, we are talking about um, uh, uh, Hadoop certification, HDP certified developers. And uh, uh, in this video, as part of the second module, data transformation, I will be talking about uh, the learning objective called uh, store the data from a pig relation into a hive table okay so uh, here uh, the difference between the previous uh, learning objective and this learning objective is loading into a hive table so it requires hive little bit of hive knowledge you don't need to worry much about uh, it here you need to have little bit of hive knowledge you just need to understand how to create tables in hive which i will demonstrate here and also uh, the the scripts will be part of the pig underscore demo dot txt file uh, to create the sample database and the tables. I will only demonstrate with one table, but I will provide the scripts for all the six tables which we have copied from the retail underscore db database into the HDFS using scoop import. So we will use the same data which is already in HDFS under uh, uh, this location fs user root scoop import and hit enter sorry fsls okay so now let me launch hive okay and then i will create a table called pig underscore demo so I will just create a hive database, sorry not table, hive database called pig underscore demo. So that for all the six tables I can create in one location and then uh, we can uh, uh, copy data to that using pig. So create database, what is the database name? pig underscore demo. So this, this is how you can create a database. Once the database is created, you can say use pig underscore demo to switch to pig underscore demo otherwise it will be in the default database this is very important to understand where you are at the time of running the commands okay now you run use pig underscore demo and it will you will be switched to pig underscore demo database now let us create the table create table departments okay and uh, the it's a two column table uh, I, I have already shown to you if you want you can go to the mysql uh, like this mysql minus u retail underscore dba minus p password is i think hadoop in my case yeah it's hadoop whatever password you have given you have to use that so make sure you remember the password use retail underscore db and show tables and you can describe on departments to see that there are two columns in this table. So we need to create two tables even in the hive department ID int and department name. So there are no types like char, var, var, etc. in hive. There is only string for all alphanumeric values. So use string. Don't worry if you don't understand much about here, just follow blindly. When I talk about Hive in detail as part of the last module, that analysis, you will understand uh, about all these things. Okay, now you have the table. You can say show tables to validate that you have the table. Once the table is created, I am using another window where I am in MySQL and I am making sure I am in the right, uh, right uh, location. I can run host name. I am in the sandbox. And then I have to log in and launch pig or I can also run Hadoop SS minus LS uh, from here to validate that we have the data under scoop import which we want to copy into the hive table. Okay, so FS minus LS user root scoop import departments so this is the table which we will be copying to hive okay so there are six files under this and uh, you can also do the cat
there are six records and uh, then what you can do is you can load this data so i am creating a relation called department so if you want to store first you have to load into a pig relation otherwise you cannot do that so load this is mandatory step user root scoop import departments okay here i i am giving the path and then you have to say you have to define the schema on the data set if you don't have schema you will not be able to load the data into hive so you have to give the schema so using pig storage the delimiter is comma you can see it here and then uh, uh, yes you have to say the column name whatever i you can give any column name in this case i am just naming it as department id integer and then department name carrier so in uh, pig uh, pig context the alphanumeric is uh, represented as carrier unlike in hive which is represented as string so you need to understand those differences okay once you define the schema you can describe to make sure it is uh, good once you do that now you can run the store command again to get the syntax you can use this location uh, uh, url which they are provided with this learning objective and you can uh, you need to use hcat storer to uh, to store the data so the syntax is store which is a keyword the the uh, uh, relation name which is the departments in this case so departments into we have to give the table name when you have a particular table in a non default database you have to give the database name also we have seen that as part of the loads from hive as well so the database name is pig_demo. dot departments this is the table name into which i want to copy using i have to give this hcat storer fully uh, qualified uh, uh, constructor name so org dot apache dot hive dot hcatalog dot pig dot hcat storer. Unfortunately, uh, it will not autofill, and hit enter. Now it is saying it cannot resolve. Why it cannot resolve? Because we did not start it with pig minus use hcatalog. For that reason, we have to quit, and then we have to launch pig using use hcatalog and then we have to load the data again into the uh, relation called departments and then run the store command and hit enter now it is working without any issues so if you want to use any hcatalog apis you have to uh, start pig or launch pig with use catalog switch without that it 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 cannot understand the hcatalog apis such as hcat loader uh, and hcat storer okay now it is success that's good now you can say ss minus ls uh, so to validate the path you, you need to know where the hdfs directory for this department's table is for that you can say describe formatted departments in hive so i am in the hive context when you run this command it will give the path so you can copy this path copy paste and hit enter you can see there is a file here with which is of size 60 bytes you can run fs minus cat also on this location slash star and hit enter so you can see data like this the reason is hive again the delimiter is different uh, whatever data that is copied by scoop it used comma as delimiter in hive the delimiter is different it's a null character that's why it is not showing up here the best way to validate is by running the hive query so we have the table already departments which we just copied as part of this video after that we haven't loaded the data into this and now if you run select star from departments and hit enter you can see all the six records without any issues but when you try to use 
pig fs uh, fs minus cat command to validate uh, whether the data is copied properly or not it is showing up like this because um, the uh, the field uh, the default hive field delimiter is null character and null characters don't show up as part of the uh, standard out but in hive when you run the uh, uh, query against hive on the same data set it uses a different approach and it it uh, 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 the output will be uh, tab separated you will understand all those things when we actually talk about hive but the best way to validate for this learning objective is by running the uh, hive query and uh, we got the results appropriately that means data is copied properly so similar to this the exercise will be without cheating to create tables for all six tables which are in my sql uh, which are already copied to scoop import location under user root so if you quit from here and again if you launch my sql uh, give the password uh, use retail underscore db show tables uh, so if you want to create a table in hive for categories there are three columns category id category department id and category name and the data types are int int and varchar so for int no need to specify the data length or precision you just have to say that uh, data type in uh, while creating the table in hive so if you if i want to create a table categories i can give the column names there are three columns category id category department id and category name category id int category uh, department id int and then category name string now you have the hive table i will demonstrate for this also and for the other four tables you can take care of it okay now i am exiting from here you can also validate whether there is any data now there won't be any data okay now i can use pig use h catalog and hit enter you can see that uh, this hive query does not return any results here once it is done instead of uh, departments we will create a um, relation called categories so categories uh, relation name and the path also we have to change to categories user root scoop import categories okay and then uh, uh, pick storage we will give the delimiter and we will see whether uh, without uh, specifying the schema we will just uh, give the delimiter for now and see if it works okay and then describe categories and hit enter schema is unknown and if you try to load now or store the categories into a table so categories is the relation name into and uh, the table name is uh, pig underscore demo categories using org dot apache dot hive dot h catalog dot pig dot h cat storer and most likely it will fail because there is no schema so it's very important to give the schema but you don't need to uh, give uh, uh, very large names for the schema you can just say c1 int c2 int c3 char array and hit enter this is the command which we ran okay now you can run store command okay so it is not working so even the call names have to match so let's try it so this will be category id this will be category department id 
and this will be category name and then run the store command now it is working so the schema has to match between the hive table and the relation otherwise um, storing into hive table will not work now it is again running the map reduce job which will read the data from user root scoop import categories um, and uh, it will apply that uh, transformation of uh, uh, having schema of three columns using comma as delimiter which is specified in the load command itself and then uh, it uses that data to store into the hive table so for hive tables make sure you run the select queries on the table once it is written success uh, in the pig so now i have gone to hive and run select star from categories and you can see that data is copied properly it has three columns and data is uh, uh, returned with the three columns and it has 58 rows so to validate further you can lo log into mysql and uh, uh, count, uh, uh, run select count on the mysql table or you can also say fs minus cat user root scoop import uh, what is the uh, directory name categories slash star wc minus l okay uh, we cannot pipe in here you can actually do the cat only so if you want to see the count of the records in uh, uh, hdfs location you can come out of uh, pig and then hadoop fs minus cat user root scoop import categories part star and wc minus l so this is the linux concept so hadoop is uh, now linux command linux uh, command that is available in linux context and using hadoop uh, linux context command we are actually running hadoop fs minus cat to get the data and then we are piping piping is the linux concept we are piping to a uh, linux command called wc which stands for word count and each line will be counted as one word uh, as we specify minus l here and if you hit enter it will return 58 the same as the number of records which we see in the hive table here 58 rows so like this you should validate and make sure that the results are accurate that being said there are four more tables uh, so make sure you create those things because we will be using uh, all, uh, all these six tables uh, to do more complex operations going forward okay uh, that being said i hope uh, but don't worry if you don't have time and if you want to finish off uh, hive as quickly as possible those uh, create table commands will be available as part of the pig underscore demo dot txt in my github account and also you will see uh, the uh, each and every uh, store command for each and every table uh, to store into the hive table using pig okay that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on my channel especially this video if you like this please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you have any technical questions please raise the ticket uh, please raise it in uh, stack overflow by tagging it appropriately and if you want to discuss further on uh, hadoop certifications please join my linkedin group called it varsity minus hadoop certifications and finally if you have not subscribed to, to my channel yet Please do so, you will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you, bye.